you see a female oak that's senior, man, thank you so much for your time. I can join the fight so far. Man, I'm, it's just been excitement all night long and, and um, you know, um, great card from top rank. Sanders look, Sanders looked amazing. Uh, Chucho looked amazing. Um, I, I can't say nothing else, but, you know, having a great time over here, giving love to the people. You know what I'm saying? I'm right here to tell the whole world we're ready to fight whoever the, whoever wants to fight. And uh, we're trying to get those big fights, man. We we got to bring boxing back, you know. And um, one of the things that we have, you know, we made it, we made these high hats is, uh, you know, um, let's make boxing great again. And, and that's what boxing needs, you know what I'm saying? Boxing is slipping because there's a lot of guys out there that want to protect their fighters, you know, against killers like my son. And I'm tired of that. Let's get the best fights that everybody wants. You know what I'm saying? The Teofimo Lopez Crawford fight is, 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 is a fight that has to be made because my son was two-time linear champion before Crawford. You know, you guys try to hide that, and, and, and I'm tired of that thing. You know what two linear champion means? That he beat the man that was the man at two weight divisions, at 135 and 140. So why can't we fight Crawford? He did the same thing we did, but we did it before he even. He did it. You know? He could he could discuss that he's two-time on the spirit before my son because Josh Taylor didn't have all the belts. But well, nobody beat Josh Taylor. You understand? So let's put these two men together. And my son at 154 will beat the shit out of him. And he knows that. A healthy 154 with a guy that's probably going to come in at 180. You know what I'm saying? And, and one thing about the sport, speed kills. Do you get mad that he sometimes like, he seems to be dismissive of that fight, and, and, and you know, it seems to be focused more on staying at 54 or fighting the guy, uh, uh, Canelo at 68. Uh, does that bother you that he kind of dismissed It's ridiculous, bro. It's, it's ridiculous because he wants to get a payout. What are you going to do? He's going to run the whole ring, the whole ring, the whole ring, the whole night, the whole night, try to get that pay? Because he's not going to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with, with, with Canelo. Everybody knows that. Sure. And Canelo said it. You know, you should be fighting Teofimo Lopez, except, you know, it, it, instead of me. He has accomplished so much in the sport that you need to deserve it. Because I know that guy wakes up every morning and looks at him himself in the mirror. And he knows that we became two-time linear champion before he did. He knows that. So why can't he fight us? I, I Tank is another one that got no freaking world titles, man. And they're calling him a three-divisional world champion. He's got two interim belts. Bro, my son got that shit. As, I think my son was like about what? 18 or 19 when he got those belts? It's lies, bro. Lies and lies and lies. I want the boxing world to understand we want to fight the best. That's all we want. It's not personal. Well, tra transitioning, transitioning. Uh, I've been seeing videos with your son working out with Canelo. Uh, much has been made as well. Who's going to be training him now? Or, or is Eddie Reynoso going to be an assistant trainer? Like, wh What's the training situation with your son and, and, and Eddie Reynoso? Listen, this, this from the beginning, this is all, it was all about my son. From the beginning. This was not about me. And if it takes Eddie Reynoso to bring out that King Kong out of my son, I'm bringing Eddie Reynoso in. And if Eddie Reynoso is willing to work with me, let's go do it. And we're going to do it. I know Eddie likes us. Um, there's nothing but love between us and the Canelo family. You know what I'm saying? We show them respect. He's, he's the king of boxing. We respect that. My son is a youngster that's coming for that. You know what I'm saying? So why can't we just build that team together? I mean, you know, um, we could be on the other card. We don't care about that. We just want to fight the best. 
And if we could do it with Eddie and Canelo and, and our team with, you know, what we'll, we'll sit down yeah, yeah, yeah. and, and, and it, it, it'll be about my son and not about us as trainers. I mean, the world is open for everything for us. You know what I'm saying? I mean, we need excitement, bro. I don't know. We've seen it tonight. I don't know. But we need excitement. And I think that boxing needs Teofimo Lopez. And and Teofimo Lopez needs boxing. It goes, to, it goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? Let's make this happen. Let's stay with top rank. Let's make the deals happen. Let's, and it's not about the money, bro. It's about us beating the best legacy. My son has always been about that. He's got an itch. He's got an itch. But he doesn't have it as bad as Crawford does because Crawford got to wake up every morning and see himself in the mirror and say, why am I dodging this dude? Why am I dodging this dude? This dude is easy. You know what I'm saying? So come on, let's go, bro. We should make this fight already, bro. In December and February, kick my son's ass. I want to see it. Because you know that shit ain't going to happen. It's not going to happen.